Okay guys, this is just a quick update video. I don't have much time I'm getting ready to go to work, but it's just a quick update video on Kirby and everyone like that. I might show off a little bit of my reptile collection too, but <clears throat> I don't have much time for to show off everybody. Kirby's been doing really good. He doesn't shy away very often anymore at all. He gets a lot of free roaming time, gets on my bed quite a bit, follows me around. He's warmed up by the way right now. He just came out of his cage. He's just kind of a spoiled little brat. Um, he's right at 20 inches, so I've had him a month. He, he was born uh, June 14th, <clears throat> and it's the 29th of October today. And uh, he's right at 20 inches long, including tail. But in the, la in the month I've had him, he's put on over... I want to say he's put on about four or five inches in one month, and he shed twice in a month. Um, he's, his appetite is up like crazy. He'll eat anywhere from five to six fuzzy mice a day, as well as uh, he can eat, his quail are a little bit bigger, but he'll eat three to five of them too, um, as well as you know his ground rabbit and ground turkey. Um, he's not really big on the fruit yet. I think we're going to try and mix some blueberries in with his ground rabbit, see if we can kind of trick him into getting a taste of it. <clears throat> he gets, uh, all of his meat that he gets, all his ground meats do have bones and organs in them to, uh, make sure that he gets all the calcium needed. You want to come here? You going to come over here? I don't know. He's just kind of doing his own little thing. Uh, he's already eaten today, so I don't really have to worry about him being around my toes. But honestly, he's really not that bad when it comes to feeding response. Um, he can be pretty crazy when he sees uh, his little bowl because he gets a, like a little ramekin uh, that I carry his mice and stuff into there with, uh, mainly so that he knows what that is. And uh, he'll spend a lot of his time, if he sees that thing, he'll, he'll kind of perk up and he's like, all right, just drop the food. Um, and so, you know, he'll get a big old mouthful, and after he's full, it's like nothing's changed. I mean, it's just what he does. It's snuggling up next to me. It's a common thing when we're sitting here walking on the bed. He doesn't get to free roam the house very much, because uh, I live in a really crappy apartment. But where I live, it's still incredibly expensive. Um, and so it's really not easy to take proof this whole house. Uh, or this whole room. Plus, with him being so small, it kind of just makes it a little bit difficult. Um, but that's really all I got to update. You can see his reds and orange are coming out from his dad. Uh, I got some pictures of his parents, and they are absolutely awesome. Uh, you can see where he gets all his white. It's, a lot of it's from his dad. Um, and his size is on both of them as well. Uh, the breeder's been really well. I'd recommend her to anyone. Uh, anyone, if she ever, if you're ever looking for a tegu. He is a hybrid, black and white and a red. Uh, but, like I said, I'd recommend her to absolutely anybody. Um, she worked with them daily, played with them, had fun with them. Uh, just enjoyed them. And so, I mean, they were pretty spoiled little goose. But, oh, he doesn't want his head scratched right now. Most of the time, he's fine with it. But, uh, just a quick show of the house. Um, or not the house, but this room. I don't want to walk out. He found the sunlight. Uh, this, and ignore one of their feeding bowl plates on the top of the hide I was cleaning. This is the Sulcutta Tortoise winter setup. It's a 110-gallon horse trough. It cost me... Curry. <coughs> Ignore my dirty laundry too. I just got off work. I worked all weekend, so um, it were it cost me right at uh, fifty bucks to buy this and set it up. Um, I just kind of jerry rigged it. I got this awesome little set uh, hood. It has each one of these little knobs can be heat bulbs, and uh, I got this for free because my buddy he didn't need it anymore. Uh, and it's a Zilla. It come, has a built-in timer on it. A really cool little deal. Um, let's see. They just finished eating. 
see them. They've grown a ton. Uh, they are not pleased that they have to be in doors. Uh, normally they're outside, but that's where it is. Uh, here we have the African bullfrog's tank. Some of his plants are dying. Um, he actually does pretty well. I gotta clean his water. Water. He busted his filter, but I I built this tank from the ground up. It's got it's half and half. These kind of keep too much dirt from getting in there. It's got some different types of bromeliads and stuff like that, and different ferns. He's got heating pads on three sides of it to help control heat. And he's got these little palm ferns. That's my big boy. Completely spoiled, rotten too. Very aggressive. This is a big frog. He weighs about two pounds now. Snake tub that's not being used anymore. This is Kirby's temporary cage. It's a 55 gallon tank. Nothing special. Mercury vapor bulb, regular UV bulb, and a nightlight just because it's getting winter here and I have to keep them on almost all the time. My roach colonies. It's just a spare colony. I'm setting up for a friend out of my colony. It took off of the boom, then my major colony. Uh, and there's my vision cage that Kirby's going to go into as soon as... I'm probably going to put him in there when he hits about two and a half foot. Uh, it's a six foot by th uh, three foot by 18 inches. It is absolutely massive. Um, it's got your ventilation and everything in the back. And... I mean, it's set up. And there are some more cages out in the living room. But uh, that's about it. Just a quick update on Kirby and, I guess, my collection. He fell asleep under the pillow. Spoiled little brat. Alright. Uh, thanks, guys.